tell you different. You know, I shouldn't even be in here. Oh, yeah? The Why? Cops, they got it all wrong. See, sure, 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 I beat him up, but I wasn't drunk. I'm but you really are drunk at the time. I only got drunk afterward. Okay, listen. Listen, listen, you gotta listen. What? Carefully. What? What? I have something to do, buddy. What's up? That wasn't Danny. No, sir. I only look like him. You wanna know who it really was? What? It, really was. it was a goddamn space alien! I know it sounds like something a drunk would say, but believe me, I wasn't drunk then. So you're seeing things too, which means I'm not the one that's tweaking. Right. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Let me look through here to see if I'm able to find any manuscripts, though. I see a thermos. Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> Just one more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff's department. Had a few broken windows. Really? Reported shots fired on Main Street. Really? Boy, Thornton had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their Deer Fest float. Now, folks, we get this every year. I know it's exciting. The big day is almost here, but let's save it for the party and leave the gunplay for the shooting competition, huh? There's no point in getting all worked up yet. So right now, they are getting ready for the event, and... The caller the... had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. First of all, I also see the manuscript too, so let me get in on that. Am I able to jump? Yeah, I'm good. Damn, Alan, have you been doing some kickboxing? Remind me to never mess with you. Lover of ladies here, like my video, share my video, leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me. Also hit the notification button so you know when I upload my videos. Alright, a new one. Let me see what this the is. The kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall and the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, forced myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? Okay, so I noticed that this time around, Alan is the one reading again. So who was the one that was reading the last couple of manufactured pages Alice's back? Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. What? Alan meant business. Oh. Ow, ow, thank God. Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Al, what the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. This is crazy. They have my wife. But how? Who? Like, what's the point in kidnapping my wife? I'm a famous author. You would think that if they really want my attention, they would kidnap me directly. You feel me? I don't know. I just hate the fact that there's a possibility that they're torturing my wife. And there's nothing I can do about it at that moment. And it's really making me... The writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness. Shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that or I'll lose it. 
The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. I am watching myself go insane. I am literally watching myself go insane, man. Settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? Hmm. Like if only. If go? only you know what's we going still on. Need to talk about am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That Thank you. Perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where Ellen! Oh my gosh, bro. Listen, anger does not solve the situation. Hey, Control your yourself. Off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. That's a surprise. You offer still Oof. Stands. He ate that punch too. Get me out but Alan, you're wild for that, bro. I understand your immense stress, but punching? What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were going to lock you up. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of What am I supposed to do? Mr. They Wait. have my wife. Barry, you found him. I rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking at the Mets. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later. Later? Look at him. Who's Max? The dog? I assume. What an airhead. Jeez, mister takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even a has a fan site fan. dedicated to you. And she was very helpful when I was looking for you. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car, just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? So you don't believe me. You slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. Do you and understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But are you, you dead ass right now? Reality, Whatever. You're yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. I... <sighs> I thought he was able to understand me, but I guess not. Whatever. Whatever. Dude. I, I can't. I can't even right now. Like, my wife is missing, and he's not able to help me out. Who else am I supposed to talk to or turn to at this point? Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. So they hey, found the rusty, dog. Right? You're on cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Bucktooth okay, sure. Charlie? What happened? What happened? Easy. Seriously, the... Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Whatever. End up in disaster. Okay, but what do you, you want me to do? To She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No, this whole thing is. Listen, you hit. I'm not your listening. Head. I'm not listening. Come on, you gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. Keep talking. I don't care. I'll do anything for my wife. So. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thank Thanks. you. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh sure. 
It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Thank you. And I hope Max gets well soon. I hate yeah, when dogs get hurt. It. Just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. That's where Lover's Peak is? Holy cow, that is so far away. Trying to pull a joke on me. Freak me out? It's working. Ha <laughs> ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. You're we really pissing me off. Real funny, Al. You can quit it now. Okay, bye. Don't Look, believe me. Al, you're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went... Oh. He really is not taking me seriously, which is understandable. Al. Allow my... We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry, <sighs> don't kill her. This Damn. Is not a goddamn debate, Barry. I'm going Bless to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. And you're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. That's all you can do. Bless you. Bless you. Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. Bless you. Bless you. I can you. tell you're not used to the weather. Oh, this place is trying to kill me. I'll bet there's mold in here, spores, poison ivy, God knows what. This thing is so not worth a 15% commission. You know what? Just sit there. And just stuff your face, because I know there's food in here. I mean, look at the amount of fridges I see here. So, if I'm not back by morning, you go get help. Until then, have fun. Wait, why did I turn off the lights? I'm so mean. Hold on. There you go. Alright. Lover's Peak, here I come. I can't believe... I'm doing this. I can't believe I'm actually doing this. But you know what? I'll do anything for the wife. I'll do anything for my baby girl. Shoot. Because I know if I was in Ellen's situation, I would have been going hell and back to get my woman. Look, another coffee. I wonder how many thermals there are in this game. And also, if I do collect all of them, what would be the prize? Is it here? No, hold on. I hear the sinister music, so I'm ready. I am ready. I'm, I'm not even going the right way, huh? I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. And what are they going to do? Wait here, Al. I'll hold down the fort. I'll be with you in spirit every step of the way, Al. Oh, oh shut Al. up. I'll be with you in spirit. Get go, me, Golo. Wait, another one? Barry had never gotten along with Alice, but he knew Alan loved her with an almost frightening intensity. And now something had happened to Alice. Alan is a Scorpio, that's it. It's confirmed. People got put in padded cells for. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. It scared the shit out of Barry. Just for that description alone, I am calling it. Alan is a Scorpio. Because, come on, he loves his girl intensely. I'm the same way. Wait, I can use this? I don't need to walk the whole way? Dude, if that's the case, then I'm so using the car. Barry had the keys to the car he rented. What? It wasn't a long walk to the visitor center. What? And it wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. What? I have... Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I have to walk. Oh, this is such a bad idea. How's my... Yo, I only have this. What happened to my shotgun? What happened to my other gun? I am actually walking to Lover's Peak on foot by myself. This is horrendous. I don't even know how I feel. What was that? And also, I don't like this. 
I don't like this at all. Let me see if I'm able to get some stuff in here. Or if this is even open. It is open. What? Okay. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Thank you. More bullets. My plan? You'll make it sound a lot more organized than I ever seen the man <laughs> Yo, someone was at the window! Sack race for us older gentlemen, huh? <laughs> yes, exactly that. But I'm gonna check out the parade, of course. And I'll be one of the party contest judges, too. <laughs> uh, well, that takes a different kind of constitution. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's my kind of exercise. Now, Doc, seriously, you're in pretty good shape, though. You're the outdoors type. I, I know for a fact you're an avid fisherman. That's right. Matter of fact, just caught a heck of a large mouth bass early this morning. But you're not taking part in the fishing contest? No, no, not this year. Um, see, Pat, I'm just not that competitive anymore. Now I just like to take my time and enjoy the peace of it. It's no fun if I need to worry about what I'm catching, you know? Well, considering your track record, the participants are probably pretty happy you feel that way. <laughs> Well, Pat, that's kind of you to say. Look at them. They're at just really excited for this competition to start. And I'm just over here going on my mind, knowing that there's a possibility Alice is getting tortured right now. And I just saw one of the shadow people through the window, so... what What is that? Since when does this place have earthquakes? What is this? This is ridiculous. An earthquake? Or maybe that was like a figment of my imagination. Who knows? Either way, I'm going to see if I can get more ammo. I know I'm, I'm basically breaking and entering. But screw it. If I can get more ammo, I'll be good. What? Whoa, someone ransacked this place. Either that or it hasn't been used in a long time. Oh no, a second episode, right. Crime and punishment. The cancer and cure of civilization. But some crimes are impossible. There's blood on the floor. There's blood on the floor. The man in the mirror. Oh my god, a Michael Jackson song, right? Man in the mirror. He's inside, Agent. He's a weird one. I just love how I'm watching a TV show in this game. Why? Is it coming? Yeah, but why would you do that? I mean, you're a nice guy. Normal. Took a kid to a soccer game. So how come at the game? And quoting from the arresting officer's report here, assault the victim's head area repeatedly with the weapon of choice being a pair of bare fists. Wow, that sentence really flows, huh? Maybe you're not the literary type. Okay, so you mess him up. But why? Who was that guy? We couldn't ID him. Why would a guy like you do him like that? I didn't like his face? Well, you must have hated it, because you really went to town there. I mean, there's no way to tell what he looked like. No ID on him either. That must be difficult. But then we ran the fingerprints. Got a match. Your prints. Identical. Huh. How about that? Your son said you were wearing a white shirt when you took him to the game. The white shirt is on the dead guy. It's plenty red now. I won't get away with this. Do you really think that's in any way relevant to me? I had plenty of time. Talk to my boy before the cops arrive, you know? He won't stop screaming, am I right? You think he's ever gonna be okay? This guy is so crazy. He's like so excited that he did that. You, you bastard. Whoa. Right. You gonna shoot me? What's the point? I'm going to prison. You got me. I, I don't understand any of this.
This episode's so trippy. How do you guys feel about these episodes, by the way? Are you really into watching them? Or do you think it's just one of those gags that Alan Wake... The actual Alan Wake game likes to pull on me. Love, lover's peak. All right, let's go. Oh man. Wait, what's up here? I know I'm not going to lover's peak directly. I like to explore. Do not feed wildlife a hundred dollar penalty. Say less. Oh, it's a good thing I came up here. Look, another one. Rose knew that Rusty was in love with her, and she liked him too. She liked him a lot. He taught her to dance, and life had certainly taught her the value of a man who was gentle. He treated her well, made her smile, made her feel good. But Rusty wasn't the prince of her dreams, and that tended to underline the unbearable truth. She was no closer to that Hollywood magic than he was. That's really sad. Like, Rusty really is... Well, from what the script said, Rusty, Rusty is like a really good, good man to her, but I guess that's not enough. Then again, she doesn't have feelings for him, so of course it would never be enough. Okay, so we got an abandoned car here and another manuscript. How nice. The air in the visitor center was heavy with an awful smell, as if some rotten, drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. My oh no! Twisted Not Rusty! What? Had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake, it happened just the way it was on that page. I really don't want to witness that. I really don't. I would be so devastated right now. Oh, man. Like, are you really serious right now? The vision oh. left me weak. This was no head injury. No. What is this? Rusty, hang on! Oh, I'm coming! Please, help me! What is this? What the hell is going on? Oh my gosh. Rusty. Whoa, what is this? Okay, okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. What? Hello? Please help. What is this? Rusty. I heard a big blam a big bam explosion the works. Oh hell. It happened. Just the way it was on that page. Oh no. Game true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must. The lights. In the office. I, I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. Wow, that's wild. I am so shook. And we were just reading about this. We were just reading about... Oh, man. This is so devasting. The f and the whole place. It's ransacked. Demolished. Sure destroyed. Was, safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Bro, I'm trying. This is crazy. All right, so where is it? Right here? Another one. Another page. At the last instant, I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. I raised my head. Nothing moved in the darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I was safe. 
Oh man, this is horrendous. Seriously, I can't. So, where's the light? What's this? Yes, thank you for the batteries, thank you for the ammo. And you know what that means? You Woo! That was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back. Wow. Oh, hell no. Rust. Oh, Lord. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Rusty is getting messed up. At this point, Rusty's dead. The ground Wait. was covered with oily patches that looked like liquid darkness. The visitor center was sturdy, but the impact turned the front of the building into splinters. Rusty was thrown across the lobby like a rag doll and hit the far wall hard. It didn't hurt until he tried to move and saw his leg bend the wrong way. Wow. Like ribs stabbing him on the inside. Rusty howled in pain and fear, suddenly afraid to die alone. This is the page that he said it happened. Oh, Rusty. What? What was that? The darkness. Okay. So these little things here. Are, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Come here. Next. Come here. Come on. All right, I got rid of those two. Rusty, please tell me you're alive. Please tell me you're okay. Had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the wall. And the dog! The dog! The dog is gone. Don't feed the animals. Who is that? Rusty? Fishy. Oh no, they got Rusty. Bro, stop! 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 Oh, shit! Woo! Stop, man. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but you leave me with no choice. What the heck? So they possess people? Is that it? Come here! Come here. What the hell? Okay, 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 okay. Come here. Come here. He's trying to drain out my battery. Damn. Come on, really? Oh my god, this pistol sucks. Rusty? What? Another one. Bet. Woo! You miss. You suck. You too. Come here. Pull through. Woo! Wow. I'm I'm surprised I'm not even dead. Oh my gosh, this is sick. So Rusty's gone. Possessed by these evil spirits. The dog is gone. I don't even know what's going on. What is that? What is tearing down the trees? Oh my gosh, bro. I can't. What? Oh, I don't know what to do. I'm scared. Like, someone is really tearing down these trees. Now you believe me? Now you believe crazy. me, huh? Oh jeez. Oh jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. So now my agent finally believes me. Took him long enough. In that last instant of consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. He was older than she was. Rose was barely out of her teens. But she made him feel young and forget what a train wreck his long dead marriage had been. He still wore the ring. 
He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Now she never would. Oh no, Rusty. Oh, I feel bad for this guy. I really do. I, oh my gosh. He did not deserve to die like that. He did not deserve to die like that. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.